Good morning everybody. Outlier here and it is day 15. I've made it to day 15. Just woke up. Gonna rub my eye right in your face. Um, and boy, uh, this is an experience. I've, oh, I've never felt anything like this and um, uh, from what I've seen and from talking to people who know what I'm going through feels a lot like people who go through detox for like drug addiction and alcoholism where you know you sit down and the desires come in waves I mean you'll be fine you'll be fine for maybe like uh, uh, a couple hours a day or two you know, and everything will seem fine, but then the urges, boom, just come right back, and they hit you hard, where food is on the only thing you can think about. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm on the augmented diet, where you drink this. This is your mainstay. This is your go-to, and then sometimes I'll have watery um, fruits and vegetables like cucumbers, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, stuff like that. Um... And then, you know, upon rare occasions, I'll do something oh, strictly on the weekends, like have a salad or like have some steamed broccoli or cauliflower. Not even that much. Maybe have some, a, a, a couple baby carrots. Nothing too extreme. And even that, you know, it, it gets old after a while. There's only so much you can do um, before you almost like run out of options and you're just stuck in a loop doing the same thing over and over again. It almost feels like you have or I have no escape, you know. It's like in order to stay true to the, the vegan spirit that is the essence of this diet, which it is, uh, raw, uncooked vegetables, there's only so much you can do, because you don't want to do too much with fruit, because you'll get too much fructose, and if you're not burning that fruit sugar, your body turns into fat and starts to soar it as fat, so in, in, in not wanting to derail yourself, you're stuck in the cycle of doing the same thing over and over again, and it's like, I can't, I can't escape, I can't get anything different. Uh, now, if you're like an omnivore or carnivore, you may go, oh, I've had chicken for a while, let me eat beef, or oh, I've had beef for a while, let me eat uh, pork, or I've had pork for a while, let me eat fish, but at least you can get different tastes and different textures, and you can experience different things that allow you to somewhat feel like you have change. You know, and those are not the only meat proteins that you can eat, but those are like the main four. Um, <clears throat> but with this, it's like, you know, I need a change. Let me do ultimately the same thing. And then it feels like you don't really have any change at all. And then it starts to feel like, well, I'm not damned if I do and I'm not damned if I don't because a any way that I decide to go, I'm just ultimately doing something that's in my best interest and in my health's best interest which sounds like it should be a good thing and I sound probably like I'm going crazy as I sit here and I talk to you about it but it, it's 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 almost like a room with no doors you know you're you're here and you're just locked in and you just yearn for something different and it's not yearning for oh I wish I had those fatty fries, or oh, I wish I had that pizza. You know, it's more like, oh, I wish I had a piece of toast. I wish I could have a spoonful of peanut butter. You know, I, I, I wish I could eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I can't. In this diet, you avoid things like salt. You know, you avoid, you don't avoid seasonings. Um, well, I guess in the purest sense of this diet, you do because all you're drinking is this and this is just the natural essence and juices of the plants 
themselves, which is cool. But in in the augmented portion of it, trying not to get away from this feel too much, you know, I avoid cooking food as much as possible, with the exception of the occasional steamed vegetable. Um, in the way in video I showed you on the weekend, I was trying like hot sauce and sweet chili sauce. That is just absolutely freaking awesome. Thank you, Dame Drops, for reviewing that one because, boy, you called it. That one was awesome. I hate carrots. I hate tasting carrots with a passion, and that made carrots taste good. <sighs> right? Um, but, you know, I, I don't cook the things, and even if I thought about sautéing them, it, it spoils the experience of cooking because I can't use seasonings to bring out the flavor and bring out the essence and it just seems like if I saute them, I'm one, rendering the vegetable down and denaturing some of the nutrients that are essential to what I need um, unnecessarily by just making them soft for no reason. Um, and nothing is grosser than soft flavorless vegetables I'm learning. So oh man this diet this diet I'm just it is wreaking havoc on me psychologically I'm only on day 15 I'm proud now don't get me wrong I may say I'm only on day 15 but I'm proud of how far I've come and this diet is doing everything it's supposed to do my weight is tr well my weight is trending in the right direction let me let you know what exactly happened. I gained, well, technically, between yesterday and today, I didn't gain any weight. Um, actually, I lost like point something pounds between yesterday and today. But that's neither here nor there. Overall, I, the lowest I touched was um, 274. I was very proud of that. And I touched that going into the weekend. Unfortunately, I had a fatty fat day and ate a salad and had some, and had some, not even a lot, I had some steamed broccoli, like a tiny bit, maybe that much, and some steamed carrots. And all of a sudden, well, and that, and I had, I have a water carbonator, and in order to keep me and my girlfriend sane, I said that we would unlock, um, we would allow ourselves to drink carbonated water with some aloe juice that didn't have high fructose corn syrup in it. And there's a specific brand that we get that's free of those additives, which is pretty good. We didn't even drink the whole bottle. We had maybe a couple cupfuls. And it's not even, it's like this much aloe juice and that much sparkling water. Just enough to flavor it or carbonated water, it's just shot my weight up back up to 280 pounds it's like, man, you know, I, I, I'm eating raw vegetables but I guess I'm eating actual plant matter which is heavy yeah. okay um, so it, it only reminded me that no, 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 feasibly you should not on this reboot feasibly you should not lose 60 pounds unless you know you are what is medically considered obese and you've got a lot of fat um, you got a lot of soft fat because losing hard fat is much much worse but you got a lot of soft fat that can instantly be turned into um, energy or you know the excess fat cells and the excess oils that are contained in your fat uh, can be excreted as waste um, but this is just going to show me that um, now the struggle or now the real fight the real dog fight of this whole process begins where it's like okay you've lost your nice and nifty 10 pounds okay you lost six hardcore pounds but now your body is like okay um, we're here and in order to lose weight you need to convert the rest of your fat cells which 
you you really I don't really have that much left and uh, you need to build muscle and guess what building muscle weighs more when you actually feed your muscles it's gonna start to build up your physique so it's like, oh. so my body is trending in the right direction but now to get down lower it's gonna be a harder fight like I'm gonna have to be a little bit stricter on the diet I'm gonna have to do more as far as exercising is concerned I'm gonna have to get more sleep or try and get more sleep as much as possible <coughs> to make the conditions for remodeling myself and my body as ideal as possible so yeah it's coming down to the fight but you know um, 15 days in 15 days it came to this point that's pretty good it's pretty good that means my body shaped up rather quickly so I'm here in the dog fight you know, I, it may sound like I've been ranting for a while, but it's it's something that I needed to get off my chest because, oh boy, there are times on this diet where I feel myself just sitting there grinding my teeth for no reason, trying to stay calm because I'm not eating, you know, what I think what, or what my mind wants to eat. Not that I'm hungry, but that, you know, I just desire to eat other food not real food, it's all real food, but, you know, your mind keeps telling you, we need to eat some real food, we need to get, you need to, th this isn't, and you start to think, you know, it's not satisfying, but it, it's, it's satisfying your body, it is, but, whoo, okay, so, thank you for listening to my rant, I guess, oh, I lost sight of my main goal, and I got it back this morning, and I, I'll, I'll tell you guys what my main goal is tomorrow, because I think this, this rant has gone on for long enough. So, if you're here and this is your day one, congratulations. Despite me looking crazy, um, I'm so proud of you for taking the first steps um, in doing in, in making a decision uh, that's going to benefit you for the rest of your life. Um, this this is a healthy, healthy, healthy decision that will only have positive ramifications on your body physically mentally it's going to be a journey so just be prepared for that but it's um it's something that's in your best benefit now as an adult i can rationalize that more so than i could as a kid which is why i'm sticking with it for now um sticking with it until my psyche breaks uh if this is your day 15 my god i don't know how you did it but you're here you are here, and I am so proud of you for doing that. You are an iron marathon runner, and you should be proud of yourself. And if you have enough energy, clap your hands. If you don't, just sit there. Um, and if you're anywhere between day one and day 15, um, then I am so proud of you as well. Uh, thank you for joining me on my personal journey. You know, I want to give you guys the real ins and outs because the documentaries, they're going to lie by omission. And they're not going to give you the real deal of what this experience is. And I want to give you what this experience is as much as possible. I want to be genuine with you all. So, if you're here and you're just checking it out and you go, oh, hey, maybe that's not for me. Or if you're here and this is your day one and you want to journey with me, just go back to the top of the playlist. Um, <clears throat> and just start it on day one and play the next day video in accordance with your own diet and we can share experiences and you can type down in the comments and let me know uh, what you were going through and and what you thought and your feelings and share it not only with me on my video because I love reading my comments but with the other the rest of the community because people who are on juicing they need a support group and I have a good support group um, that supports me and you should as well I love you all I support you all in this endeavor most importantly you can do it you can do it it's it's this whole diet this whole thing is a mental thing it's a mental exercise it's a mental discipline to stay here and fight yourself that's the hardest thing to do is to fight yourself because you're gonna win good bad or indifferent you are going to win it's just whether you win in the way you want to or you win in the way you don't want to and right now, I'm still winning in the way I want to. And I have confidence that you can too. So, cheers, salud, 
into Dr. Moss. Bon appetit and down the hatch. And I look forward to seeing all of you on day 16.